I'd like to talk a little bit about leading a retrospective, namely a lean coffee. Now, a lean coffee is a special form of retrospective, but first let's cover what is a retrospective and why do we do them in the first place? So retrospectives are a way of looking back on the work you've done over a period of time and saying, how can we do better? But it has to do with the agile mindset. Agile is not only about like doing iterative development and seeing how you can do better in development, but it's actually, you know, all of your systems and processes. You take a look at, hey, what are we doing that makes sense? And what are we doing that doesn't make sense? The key thing is, as a professional team, you want to stay thinking about uh, things in a constructive manner, not, not, not just uh, complaining about things. You want to think about, hey, how do we look at some issues? solve some issues we want to go with a positive mindset how do we fix this how do we move forward assign stuff get stuff out the door right away let's get into making the retrospective board and then we'll get into running the retrospective itself the first thing we need to do is head to trello.com go to create board this is this button right here the little plus and then create board and it will go ahead and start creating a board we'll call this uh, retro and just go ahead Oh, okay. In case you have that issue, just go ahead and click create board under one of your already existing workspaces. So that's what I've done and that solved the problem. I've gone ahead and populated my board with a series of headers, but if you want to know how to do that, just click on add list and you can type all of these here. So we have things going well, discuss, action items, issues to address, items of discussion, action points. Now let's jump into how we're actually going to do the retro. In order to optimize the process, you're going to need to go to power ups, click on add power ups, search for vote and choose the voting one. The one that looks like this right here, give power to people to vote. And now whenever you add cards to the board, you can actually vote on them. Let's start by adding a random card to the board. We'll call it test here. And now people can vote by clicking this button right here and the vote will show just like that. This is going to be necessary for some parts of this process. So I need to talk first and foremost about why we do this things going well part. If you're trying to increase your productivity, taking a look at the problems is essential, but we don't want to get focused on problems. We want to first open up people's creativity. And that's why we think about things going well before we go into things to address, for example. Um, so we'll add some test examples here. So things going well, people really <laughs> people really get along right so what you would do is you would set up a time for your team to go through this and just say okay what are we doing that's working together that's going well you know and you would give you would have to set up a timer and this is key uh, I like to use my phone and just say you know Siri set up a 10 minute timer or something like that this this would probably five minutes would be good for this uh, but uh, yeah just just set up a time for everybody to write down asynchronously the things that are going well the key with this whole process the key to that makes this work is that it is indeed asynchronous right so uh that's that's critical to this is we're not like debating oh what what's what's going worse you know no no we're all just writing this stuff down on the board at the same time expressing our thoughts without being influenced by anybody else so that's critical Okay, I've made a few examples here. Um, people are really getting along. The art goes really or is looking amazing. I think the theme of our project is awesome. Okay, so the thing is that we need to know which one of these opinions matter. So we got to give them a moment to vote. And you can just explain to them if you click a card and push V, you will vote for that card. Uh, I wouldn't limit it to one vote per card. Just let people vote on whatever cards they want for how, however long they want or how many uh, they want to. So that way you get a sense of, okay, you voted for all of these different cards and it works. Okay, so with all that done, uh, you want to go ahead and say, take the top three or something like that. This is up to your judgment. Take the top three ones and put them here. In this case, that's all of them. And uh, you, would, you would usually arrange them by the number of votes, right? So go ahead, put those there, set a timer, discuss them in detail, see if there's any action items, people you want to thank, uh, things that you can even improve on within the uh, the things that are going well like anything you can do that's an action item you can put it here I wouldn't schedule a time for this because you're probably not gonna have that many action items with the things going well they're not really issues to address but it's always nice to have an opportunity to have an action item to say let's let's have a celebration let's give thanks let's let's uh, you know do things even better if we can there's no harm in it uh, then I would go ahead and set a timer another five minute timer 
Uh, this one takes a little longer, maybe seven minutes. Issues to address. Have everybody write down issues to address, and then separately they should be voting. Remind them not to vote beforehand, because you don't want to get, uh, you want people to share their honest thoughts without looking, oh, are, what are other people writing? You, you want them to share from the heart what they're thinking, you know, and start writing a card um, without getting into that uh, mob mentality of saying, we're going to go all in on this particular issue. Just give them time to um, go ahead and do that. Then you want to give them time to vote. And then the items that you want to vote on, uh, the, the items that get voted on the most, you want to move them to the particular items of discussion. So when you discuss them, here's the key point. When you discuss them, you don't want to open up a realm of complaining here. You really want to have an open, honest, frank discussion, but one that is also focused on solving problems. It's all about solving problems. It's all about how might we frame things as a how might we. Some of these retrospective um, things just, you know, they reframe everything. They rewrite every card as a how, how might we. That might be necessary for you, uh, but uh, we think that we can just go about you know, looking at the card and saying, how might we solve this problem? What's the easiest way the, the, the you know, you don't want to look at solutions. Yes, uh, you know, we, we can't build a rocket ship to Mars. You know, that isn't the solution to a problem. What's the easiest way that we can solve this problem that's going to have the most impact? That's what you want to be looking at throughout this process. Finally, you want to derive action points from each one of these items of discussion. Derive action points each time throughout this and make sure if you make any decisions, they get documented. You are in charge of that as a leader of this project. Make sure everything gets documented in documentation further uh, if need be. Uh, or that those action points are sent to the right people. Like if th there's a different team that needs to program a tool, for example, to solve a particular problem, you need to go ahead and send that over there so that they can deal with that. So uh, definitely have action points. If you don't have action points at the end of this, you've really wasted people's time um, and you haven't solved anything. People do like to talk about issues, but solving issues takes hard work. So make sure you get people to talk about those action points. Very important. I'd like to address one more thing. How do we discuss these different items? Well, you can ask people to join the, the items of discussion which they themselves wrote. Uh, just by clicking on here and clicking on members and join, you can join it yourself uh, or you can have other people or, you know, that's how the join system works. It should sh say join here if they are a member of this board. I really can't join because I'm the only member here. So uh, be aware of that. So have them join that. And if they want to step up, you don't want to put people on the spot, but if they want to step up, have them join it. It does technically say down here also, um, but you don't necessarily want to put people on the spot. Have them join it and go ahead from there and ask them to explain. Can you can you give us like two minutes? What do you mean by I think the theme of our project is awesome? Um, well, that that's a that's not really an issue to address, but you know what I'm trying to say. Um, get them to talk about it. So go back, make an organized list. Think about the times you're going to have. Uh, each person or each section, you know, what times you're going to give for each section. Make sure that's clear in your mind. If that's not clear in your mind, you're not doing it right. you got to have that clear beforehand. And there's one more thing I'd like to talk about, which is the ELMO principle. So enough, let's move on. That's what it stands for. But basically, uh, if there's been too much discussion about an issue, you've got to set up the rule beforehand of ELMO. Like, we don't want to spend all of the time on one particular issue enough let's move on is a way of, of talking about that you can look that up you can google that and uh, just take a look at uh, you know what that means and how you can implement it uh, it's important to set that beforehand set that tone beforehand we are going to have enough let's move on if we get stuck on an issue because we do want to cover more than one issue today so those are some tips on running a retrospective remember to be organized have all your time set up everything ready to go and keep the conversation problem solving oriented, not focusing on the problem, focusing on the solution.